We're now at lesson 20C. We're going to be solving word problems and working backwards. We're also going to use guess and check. If you've missed or skipped any of the previous videos or become confused, just check the description for links. And the GED math test allows only 115 minutes to answer 46 questions. And it's going to vary by state. So it's just a few minutes shy of two hours, isn't it? 120 minutes would be two hours. We can divide the 115 by the 46 questions and get two and a half minutes per problem on average. And the first part of the test is only going to be five problems and you're not allowed to use a calculator. It's going to be a three minute break and then you're going to start the second part. There's 41 problems in the second part. You're going to be allowed to use an on-screen calculator or you could bring your own Texas Instrument 30X3, which I would advise doing because if you have your own, you can horse around with it at home before the test and learn how to